Let me see everything is okay. Yes. And uh, here and here. So <clears throat> Mindfulness is realizing what I am and negating what I am not. That is what we understood from this teacher in the first 18 verses. So when we contemplate and reflect what I am not, we realize that all suffering are situational. It comes from the world or with identification with the world. And also, the false eye that is present in the mind. Mind says, I like you. So please do not leave me, appreciate me, otherwise, situation. With reference to an object, with reference to a person. I dislike you, why you are making me crazy. So everything, all the suffering are either situational or caused by the mind due to the wrong notion huh? i like you so appreciate me praise me and that is how i live my life so once we recognize the identification how this mind identifies with a person with an object with a thing in the world outside we drop it we drop it naturally we need not to fight with it we need not to we need not to struggle with it we need not to struggle with it why situational and emotional issues can only be removed by knowledge by understanding not by practice This young guy, I've been talking about this, not to criticize him, but to understand. It's a real life example. So the last session I had with him, he said, you know, it's okay, but you know, she should have talked to me. She should have sent even a text message. Oh, okay. So the text message will help you happy? Yes. So I said, give me her number. I will request her. Or uh, is it possible that I should send you the text that you are looking for? Will you be happy? Situational. You see, we create a situation in our head. You know, with the members of the family, with outside, with the strangers, you know, in a situation, with our honey. So then we fall into unconsciousness. The mind becomes impulsive. It is demanding the emotional dependence. And that causes the problem. So he also started laughing. He said, this is, you know, this is what you said. Now what happened? He said that uh, our common friend, I talked to the common friend, and the common friend said, look at it, look at the, how ego works and how we have to get rid of the situational and emotional issues. Once we understand, it becomes easy. So I said, OK, good, go ahead. So he said, common friend uh, told me that she was thinking of texting me.
you know what this guy said to me it is a disrespect to me now why he is now why she is thinking of texting she should have texted me earlier i know you <laughs> you may be laughing but you have those issues and challenges in your life i can bet you if we do not understand we have those challenges in our life. <laughs> understand that in our relationship that is situational outside then what i said that of who is the object in the mind that girl you remove that object from your mind this is negation by understanding if that object remains in the mind it will continue to create lot of thinking that will cause anxiety and distress so i said your respect your disrespect uh, your emotional dependence all comes to one point girl can you think that can you get love peace happiness wisdom from her does she possess all of them so if you if, if if she possesses all of them so you can take no that is not true then then why you are worried so the process of negation works when we understand clearly the understanding that this emotional bondage this situational worries are not for me it is for my evolution it is for my progress that is why <coughs> all the master says every problem in the life is an opportunity and every opportunity helps me to rise in consciousness what is that opportunity your honey disrespected you this is an opportunity ashok <laughs> this is an opportunity so when i when my mind understands in the state of the calmness it is negated naturally let me give you another example to understand and apply that in life i always give this uh, two example before that before that keep that in mind that physical suffering i am suffering because of hunger i have to depend on the food outside <clears throat> that is very clear we should be very clear we should not overstretch these principles on need for the food and the physical safety and the shelter for that we have to depend on the world but it is a psychological insecurity it is what is happening in the mind what is happening in the mind insecurity dissatisfaction unhappiness that needs to be resolved and that can only be resolved by understanding and the knowledge by non practice so having said that now come back to the same uh, thing that that negation knowledge and understanding alone can lead us to end this this kind of a suffering so there comes the relevance of this metaphor that we understood pure consciousness is nothing but the canvas then we have a causal then we have a causal body and then we have a subtle body the mind and the mind creates the world and all the three layers are superimposed on our true nature on our real self 
that is what is the pure consciousness which is already there it is superimposed it is imagined go back to this same guy go back to the same guy he imagined the girl not responding causes me the trouble do you see that situational look look at it honey did not listen to me causes anxiety to me it is situational it has nothing to do with me i imagined it And that imagination is delusional. Now come to the main point that I wanted to talk about it. That we normally, we normally think in this way. We go into anxiety, duality, conflict, sense of insecurity. We get frustrated as this young guy says. So by understanding, I am negating. Now you are understanding negating is not a negative word. Negating is that the mind is 100% clear. It is aware that mind is causing the conflict and the confusion because of emotional dependence and because of the ignorance and because of the delusion. Now see the perfect example that I have been using, perhaps Ashok will remember. In our talks in India, I used to say that a, a young guy, a student, passed with the highest grade, 10th grade. He enjoys that. Then he goes to the headmaster or a principal and he says, now, I don't want to go into the grade 11. Keep me in the grade 10. Principal says, you have succeeded. You have qualified. Now you have need to grow. You need to raise your level of knowledge. You should go into the class of grade 11. No, no, I am not interested. So we create a shell of ignorance. Why? How? You get attracted to something and then you hug and then we date and then it becomes a soulmate. We want to live in that shell. We don't want to get out of it. We don't negate it. And when you don't negate it, you have a problem. Are you getting it? This is what happens to majority of the people and we are not able to understand. Then this, <clears throat> then the journey of suffering continues. Take another example, Buddha. I don't use the way uh, you and the you guys be Buddha. Even I cannot say Buddha in Sanskrit means old, very old. So the actual pronunciation is Buddha. <coughs> it comes from the word awareness. <coughs> Buddha means awareness, both. So the Buddha says this word is suffering. We say the word is pleasant. We are not negating it. That's why we are suffering. You keep on listening. We miss the ultimate message. So when the Buddha says that self-created word, to go back to the same example of real life example of this young boy, younger. Last time I told him that you have a good house, yes. You have a big car, yes. You are handsome, yes. You are young, yes. You are doing independent business, yes. You are earning more than enough money, yes. Where is the problem? Hmm? 
that girl is the problem. So if the girl is not in the mind, there is no problem. <laughs> no, no, sorry to say girls are not a problem, but... <laughs> and then he started laughing. I said, keep that laughing state of the mind. You are laughing at your ignorance. That is the point you should understand. So keep laughing and deal with her, not get upset. And the life changes. Then you live in the state of the mindfulness. Now see how the masters, in terms of negation, I my mind reminded me of another example that I always used to give. When this mind stuck, stops, means it identifies with anything in the world, maybe a object, maybe a girl, maybe a boy, maybe anything, wealth and etc, etc. The ignorance is superimposed on the real self. We were born unconscious totally. In that unconsciousness, still there was some kind of, of an awareness for physical survival. I didn't know who is mom, who is dad, but hunger was causing the suffering to me and I started crying and mom came and fed me the milk. And I was full of joy. I wet the bed, mom changed it. Everyone went to bed here. I'm not the only person. So, so. <clears throat> now see, as the as the infant grows, we started enjoying unconsciously when we started crawling. Do you see that, you know, the crawling babies, they enjoy. Then we, we stand up, we fell down, we stand up, we fell down, we stand up. We never said that I'm tired of standing. It was an automatic survival, automatic growth, automatic rise in consciousness. Do you see that? We never said. As an infant, they don't know, I'm, I'm tired, mom, I'm tired of standing up, enough. Now I'm not going to do it. Look at it. The way that real self was present in us is guiding us. But now we grow older. <clears throat> and now we started, you know, playing with the toys. For the babies, those Toys are not the toys, they are the real thing. They are the real thing. But after that, we enjoyed, we realized they are the toys, and we went to the storybooks, we enjoyed that. But now, the, instead of the storybooks, we see a lot of things on the mobile phone and the internet. So. Then maybe we focused on our study. A particular uh, branch of the knowledge gave us the joy. So do you see that constant, there is a constant change of the objects to seek pleasure and happiness? Do you see that? Then we said, you know, now I'm single. Let me get married. I don't 
appreciate that event the way I appreciated the event before, and then we become a soulmate and soulmate. Because now I have a thinking ability, and that thinking ability is going wrong. Now it is causing the emotional dependence because of wrong notions, because of superimposition, because of imagination, because of delusion. It did not happen with the toys. It did not happen with the storybooks. Do you see that? But during the journey, we are stuck. The mind is stuck. Now that we created a false identity, We did not stuck with the toys. No. Why you? Uh, why you? Why I have left the toys? Negating. You negated it, but you negated and you forgot it. When you negate and do not forget, you bear the ego. Go back to the same example of this young guy. Same example, are you getting it? We, we negated the toys naturally and we did not build, you know, I have left you. What we do, I divorce you. Who can divorce? No one can divorce. Existence will say, I divorce your life. Then what we will do? <laughs> what, what we will do? No, another guy, I told you that he is paying $20,000 and she is in Mexico. Said, no, no, leave me. No, I will stay there. I am already getting a lot of money with the two daughters. Three daughters are there. Are you getting a sense? Because once we understand this negation part, so, so what happens? No. So analyze your life, observe your life, where you are negating with the false side. Your emotional dependence, your superimposition, your delusion were created by the false side, and with the same false side, I will divorce you. Look at the example of the younger. There is a total disrespect. Now she has started thinking that she is going to talk to me when she is going to talk to me. So I, I asked him that, are you ready to fight with her so that you claim that you love her? Uh, do you see that in superimposition? That needs to be understood. The moment you understand, then what happens? I have made it made my point clear. Well, if you understand, it's okay. If you did not understand, that too is okay. We are continuing the journey. So then what happens? So the master says the secret lies in living your life and negating naturally. Now, what is that secret? Who is negating? who negated the breastfeeding, even when I'm totally unconscious, who negated the toys, who negated the storybooks, the one who negated cannot be negated. <clears throat> that is over here, sir. It is here and now. Are you getting? What is the remainder? after the negation is present here and now it is the real self no did you get a sense of it after all when i say i am negating so who is this i who is negating
So whatever is negated, when we are aware of it, we come to what Buddha says. The Buddha says the world is suffering. What is left? So how to understand what is left? So simple. Just become aware. Become aware of what? Who is negating? Every time you negate, awareness, who is negating, that ne who is negating, there is some entity. Who is what is that entity? That is I am. What is that I am? That is the real self. Was it present at the time uh, of my birth? Yes. I was hungry. Mother, my mom breastfed me. Hunger is gone. I negated the breast. That is the power of negation. So negation is not a negative term. Negative helps me to evolve, to rise in consciousness, to discover that real self. One more point that I want to place it in a brief way. Another point that you need to contemplate and reflect. <clears throat> Yesterday, I was giving her a lesson. You know, no, uh, I'm not a religious person. I'm a spiritual person. Without understanding religion, you cannot become spiritual. Do whatever you want to do. <laughs> Normally, it's a set pattern now. Uh, it's, it's a big uh, statement that we already, we always make. I'm not a religious person, you know, I'm a spiritual person. Really? Do you find any change in your life being a spiritual person? Now, I still have a problem with my, with my honey in my office, with the world outside. But I'm a spiritual person. I hear a lot of things, but I don't say anything. Now understand the scheme, the entire scheme of uh, this, of a revolution. As we grow, we identify with the body, we identify with our gender, we identify with our mind, we identify with certain opinion, wrong notions, that build our personality and the ego. We become the center of the universe. So what is the scheme in the society, the human civilization? In all the traditions, whether you use the word religion or not, in the physical shape of temple, in the churches, in the gods, in the goddesses. Two, they are present in the society. They should be present in the society. Why to come out of the shell of ego that I'm the center of you? So when we understand that I'm not the center of the universe, how do I understand that I'm not the center of the universe? Because God is there. The way you understand it, it's okay. Whether you understand Jesus or Krishna or Muhammad or you, anyone, it doesn't matter. That is how the Eastern wisdom perceives. So that is the first lesson. These, these, you know, you know, in, in earlier days, there was no religion and we used to worship sun and the God and moon. At the, there is someone, something, which is greater, which is all powerful than me. I have to sow the seed of that existence in my mind. 
and the release and test the job. Do you agree? That much. So now you negate it. <laughs> Once you understand that there is an existence, you need not to go to the temple in the churches now. Then what should I do? Make your body as a temple and the church. Now you sit at your home. The moment you are comfortable and steady, the temple churches are steady. <laughs> so that's why the understanding of, understanding of what? Asanas are there. Relaxed and poised manner of sitting is asana. That message yoga gives. So if now you negate the body, then what happens? But before negating the body, I should be clear that the world is suffering. I should not demand based on my emotional dependence, from my relations, from the world, I will continue to make effort to make my both ends meet and then I have a harmony. I live in harmony with the society. Second step, I negated it. Now I am free. Now I sit at home with the bodies, the temple. Then what? Negate the body, come to the mind, look at the one mind how it has created imagination, delusion, then what? Negate the mind, what is left is the real self. So when you follow the entire journey, you are clear, then you are a spiritual person. <laughs> Otherwise, it does not make a sense. We think, you know, we become so great philosopher, you know, while talking. I'm a spiritual person. Yes, I could see on your face, it is written in your face. You are a spiritual person. And then they start talking of their stress, their suffering. So I know how much spiritual you are. <laughs> no, no, I'm, not, I'm just making you understand. So it's a process. I gave one example of the uh, breastfeeding and then wetting the bed and then ultimately the toys and the storybooks and then the, the way we start, we negate it so naturally. But if you negate with an eyeness, everything is destroyed. That is a very thin line. We are walking in a rager's edge. If you fall down on one side, you're gone. If you fall on the other, you're gone. You have to continue walking on that leisure. That is what the mindfulness is. Eyes are closed. Eyes are closed. Settle in the comfort. That is the first two steps are more or less the common, but I explain differently what settle in the comfort. You are aware you are not struggling. If you are struggling, you are falling. You are not walking on the rager's edge. Now, did you understand? You are not able to negate naturally. That negation is supported, is caused by our false eye. And as long as the false eye is there, we cannot awaken to that state. And still, just look at it. Is it a practice and a non-practice? It is simply an understanding. You look at the neck joint. Mentally, you are looking. It means you are aware. You are not looking to your physical senses. 
Looking means awareness. Awareness means knowledge, perception. So what you are what is your perception? Sensation, comfort, and steadiness. So the way you look at the neck joint after negating it, you have an experience of sensation, comfort, and steadiness. After negating it, you are aware of the emptiness, blankness in the space. It happens in a fraction of a millisecond. Space is awareness, and awareness is space. I think I have repeated many a times. Yeah, let me make you aware of something great. Adolf uh, Huxley, perhaps, who is the physicist, Nobel Prize winner in from Britain. So look at the shoulder joints you are looking. You are looking. So there is a observer or perceiver. And what is perceived is the shoulder joints. Perceived changes. What changes? Sensation, comfort, and steadiness. Perceiver is the same. What? After that, perceived is the space. Perceiver is the same. Remainder is the same. We negate one experience, one object, one event, one situation. We move to the next one, but we move to the next one. That you is the perceiver. That perceiver is the real self here and now. So this Nobel Prize winner says, it's a wonderful, that's why he got the Nobel Prize. He says that there is a fraction of a millisecond of distance between the observer and observed. We say it is due to the false side, that's why we perceive. Otherwise, he says further. Observer and observed is a combined event. It is not a fact, it is a possibility. From where the idea of a quantum mechanics <coughs> came to physics. Well, it just came to my mind, so I said, let me. So now you are aware of the entire body. You are looking at the body. You are perceiving the body, the perception of the body. So you are a perceiver. You experience sensation, comfort, and steadiness. So I can say you are not a perceiver. Now you are an experiencer. It is the same. I change the word. Or I can say you are a feeler. <clears throat> you feel sensation, comfort, and steadiness. Remainder is the same. After negating it, you are aware of the space. Space is awareness, and awareness is the space. Is it not a combined event? If it is a combined event, the false eye is gone. You need not to worry about anything. You are already there. Oh, it is so simple. Yes. It happens in play and fun.
some thought comes, it is observed, it is perceived, it is an object. So there is a fraction of a millisecond of a distance between the first thought that enters into the mind, it leaves, and the second thought comes. Then only we recognize there are two thoughts. Then only I recognize the mind is wandering. Can I tell you an interesting thing? Wandering mind is observed. You are constantly negating. The mind keeps on wandering. You are constantly negating. Who is negating? You are aware of that. You are already there. You are there. Even when the mind is wandering, even when the mind is calm, why? You negated, you are not the mind. We are going a little higher. <coughs> there is nothing higher and lower. But for the sake of understanding only, So the perceiver, feeler, I can say seer or the knower, they all are one if you have negated everything. What can be negated? Feeling can be negated, yes. Perception can be negated, yes. That's why I see. But what happens, the feeler, when I feel the stress, then I say, I am stressed. We don't say the mind is stressed. That is the superimposition. That is the metaphor our master has explained. In the next way, we are going to the next metaphor. That's why it's very important that we realize. Did you understand that? So some feeling of sensation and calmness or oh, feeler. I am calm because I feel the calmness in the body. No. Real self is always in calm. That is why I am calm. Did you see the mixture? We have to apply discernment. Body is comfortable. I feel the sensation, good sensation, steadiness. If there is a good sensation, there will be bad sensation. Both are negated. Negated means de-identified, means emotional freedom, means superimposition is there. I see the mirror as water, but I know it is not there. What is not there? Calmness is there, but that calmness is not of the mind. That calmness comes from beyond the mind. Peace is not of the body and the mind, it comes from the seer or the feeler or the perceiver, if, or simply say the knower, seer. Any thought comes, simply you are aware that thought was not present a moment ago. 
Oh, okay, the thought is changing. Negate it. Because I'm always present. Are you getting it? Yes. When the thought was not there, I was present. Now the thought is there. I am present. Uh, this thought is gone. I am present, you see? You see? That is what I told this young guy. Respect was present a week ago. Respect is not present today. Disrespect has come back again. So I should not get attached to the respect and disrespect. Why? They are changing. What is changing is not me. Who is witnessing these changes is me. I asked him two weeks ago, did you have those feeling ideas and experiences of respect, disrespect, craziness? No, nothing was there. I, you witnessed it was not there. Now you witness it is there. You negated both, you are clear. That is the journey of the mindfulness. So we need to contemplate. You can think. I told you that very thinking. You're going to the kitchen for grabbing a cup of coffee. You had the thought, product of knowledge. You applied it. Thought is there, not there now, even while preparing a cup of tea or coffee. Do you see that? So when you contemplate and reflect, you think. But every thought has its time. It dissolves. And you enter into your will. That awareness is living in a moment. That awareness means living from a moment to moment all the time. What is going to happen? Oh, body is here, body is not there, consciousness will remain there. You can see the highest state of meditation. But he is here, but he is not there. So you don't have a fear of death. Fear. Nobody is about the birth and the death. Who dies? Body. Who takes birth? Body. Can I take birth? No. Pay attention to that thought or that trigger coming from the mind, which normally asks what I'm doing. Be very clear, I'm not doing anything. I'm not the doer. Because if that mind becomes crazy, you know what to do now, that will cause distraction in the one. Because the mind, or you can say the false eye, always wants to prove its presence by becoming a doer and an, 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 an experiencer. We are a knower. We are a seer. We are a witnesser. We simply witness. I believe you're getting it. What exactly is happening? Mindfulness is understanding, realizing, 
realizing what I am and negating what I am not. That is one way to put it. So I we understood negating is not forcing, pulling, doing, reacting, pressing. It has nothing to do with any suppression. I gave an example of that how the existence helps us to evolve and negate naturally. We're not playing with our toys now. We all played with some toys. A sheer imagination. Now we realize it is imagination. That's why we don't play. It is naturally negative. Don't allow the mind to play with you. Or play with the mind. Where is the play with the mind? Look at the entire body. In the state of doing nothing, experience, sensation, comfort, and steadiness. This is a playing with the mind. Look at the breath going in and out. You're looking means aware, witnessing. You're not carried away. You're not pulled and forced by any negative or positive emotion. You are aware of the breath. Breath is, you know, you witness the breath is going in and out. You feel the sensation of the breath. You know you are not changing the rate and the rhythm of the breath, otherwise the false vibe will start working. Oh, you are simply a witness, a perceiver. You are not perceived. Can you perceive the false side? Yes. No, no, how? Who changes the rate and the rhythm of the breath? False side. You recognize it and realize it. Who, who sees from within us that I am crazy? False sight. So when you recognize the false sight, when you experience anything, that should be negated. <clears throat> I experience I am I'm stressed, yes. Negate it because it is not you. You can negate it. What cannot be negated is me. What is that me? Real me. Real life. Real self. Real consciousness. Witness.
Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Bring your mind on the right hand. Your mind on the left hand. Lift your Buddha palms, place it on your eyes. Open the eyes and slide the palms. Know your experiences. Bring the hands down, we will share our experiences. Now, how are you, Stephen? <clears throat> Good, very good. Um, very, very peaceful. Um, sa Saturday's, you know, um, sessions for me have always been about contemplation or reflection, and my mind goes a hundred miles an hour going through the whole process. And today's meditation itself was nothing. It was just absolute peace because all the processing took place during the actual lesson and I didn't need to think about it. And and I started, when well, you start talking about the situations and I love the idea that that situations just are, are opportunities to transcend them, you know, um, you know, to, to transcend the mind and, 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 and really evolve. And, and for me, it was looking at, at the expectations that we put out there that it, it, we're, we're, we're suffering because we have like, all of these expectations of how someone should react to something or how someone should treat us or how so on and so forth. And that's what you're talking about, negating those situations. And then what, what I grabbed from it was, is that it's not just the negatives, as you pointed out about the, the, the negating, it's about also the outside situations and objects that create positive experiences for ourselves. We have to yeah. negate that because we can't depend on those because that's not where the real self lies. And, and then all of a sudden it became this mathematical equation to me about, okay, we have real self and then we have everything else and everything else could be good or bad, but that everything else just needs to be negated and that just leaves us with the real self. Beautiful. And, yeah, and I think that that's what led to this meditation of just absolute peace because all of that stuff was taking place during your lesson. Beautiful. That is how the Stephen revelation takes place. What you said, I caught that. I caught that phrase. Real self is on one side. What is good and bad is the rest of the world. Okay, finished. What is left is the real self. That is the process of negation, my friends. So negation has nothing to do with the negative con connotation into it, no reaction at all, no fighting, no suppression. And that's why I give examples as we grow, uh, since our childhood. And sometimes when we say, I'm a spiritual, I don't believe I'm born, even though we admit I'm a born Christian, so you have already admitted, you have not negated it. And then you say, I'm a spiritual guy. Negation also does not mean when you go to these places, no, I don't believe, so I will keep standing outside, you go and pray and come out. Negating here. You respect everyone. That is the point here. Beautiful. How are you, Brandy? I'm good, thank you. Um, during my meditation, I had an out. I had many opportunities to 
apply negation um, auditorily because there's there are these kids playing right outside my window and they're screaming and there's a dog outside barking outside the none of this is happening now of course but while I was in my meditation and um, some kind of like jay or crow or something and and with everyone kind of like what Stephen said with every disturbance right I say like um, I was like that's not that's not me right that's not what's happening right now and it was a, an opportunity to like you said you know to sit on one side and that sits on the other yeah 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 so the moment we have that what is that separation or i would say what is that recognition of what i am not is negated so what i am not birds are you know the, the kids are playing and screaming okay Am I, uh, am I them? No. Song? No. So that state of the witness consciousness helps us to reach to the highest. Wonderful, wonderful. How are you, Terry? I'm good. Um, I was uh, really aware of the I kept thinking about the razor's edge metaphor. Yeah. And I felt like it was an I was in a dance to keep my balance. Like yeah. I would notice this, then I would forget it. Yeah. Notice this, forget it. You know, and you're just going like Yeah, yeah. Stay up is, there. <laughs> that is also good. It is as you know that we recognize what I am not on both the sides of the edge. Otherwise, what happens? Sometimes I get attached to the pleasure, and sometimes I get attached to the pain, like a young guy. Mm -hmm. I asked him that, uh, uh, my, did you? Can you tell me, my friend, that when you were soulmate for two weeks, you did not attend my session? You made a loss to me for a couple of hundred dollars because they are doing the private session. Then you never thought of me. And when you had a problem, then you have thought of me. <laughs> so I, I'm just picking up some. So razor says means two sides. Pain, pleasure, victory, defeat, both are negated. And then you can just walk on beautiful way that you have understood. Terry, how are you? Where is Sam? Yeah. Um, I like the idea that uh, the negation is a natural process, not a forced process. Yeah. 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 That's another beautiful way. You pick up any understanding. I give a lot of ways to make you understand. You pick up any. It's a natural. Now, if it is not natural, then what will happen? What will happen? Then you will blame this beer guy. What he taught me is wrong. I'm more stressed. That is why one has to listen and learn again and again and again and again. That's a beautiful understanding, Sam, that negation is a natural process. So if anything is happening natu unnaturally, it is not negation. So I have to negate even that unnatural. That is, that is what happens. So how are you, Ashok, sir? Sir, uh, it was uh, very good and uh, very peaceful, and body was totally uh, stable, and uh, very good, uh, very lightness, and uh, I understood the negation, uh, like uh, uh, dry leaves of a tree when drops down. Yes, you are using our master's example. I never thought of it. Now yeah, I can find beautiful way. 
So that is a negation, but it is in awareness. I mean, I am aware of that. It's a negation. So when the tree finds the leaves are of no use, they fall naturally. Naturally fall. It's that is a yes. natural negation. You I mean, it's very light. Thank you for reminding me, Master. My our master always used to give that examples. Watch, just be an observer, be a witness. Sakshi. And the leaves falls down by itself. By itself. Why the leaf doesn't fall by itself? I'm attached. Beautiful. That's a beautiful way. How are you, Anesthesia? Thank you. I am very good. This time it was very deep and soft and gentle meditation. Uh, I went very deep uh, inside. So, yes, very calm. And today i was just uh, thinking about uh, this negation and you are giving this lesson it's so wonderful working i was on my kitchen and i thought that there is not enough space we have a really small kitchen and then i thought that i need to uh, buy more space bigger kitchen bigger flat and then i understood that I don't have enough space only if I am attached to my body and to these walls because yeah. they make this space like, yeah, catch it. And uh, it was so beautiful to understand that only if I'm attached to my body and even if I'm attached to my body, so my body takes or needs actually not a lot of space, only this square you know <laughs> it's my ego yeah yes it's our false side that demands you know i live i think stephen brandy and uh, uh, sam has seen where i work it's maybe 10 by 12 and 12 by 12. so yesterday i was thinking that how many hours i spend in this such a small room so maybe something around 18 20 hours Someday, 22 hours of just outside. It's a good. It's a good house. But fact is that you are not. You're not at all concerned about it. Who is concerned about it? The false side. You rightly said. Such a beautiful session because you, your, you all reveal something new. That is why it's a good session. Otherwise, I, I will keep on uh, doing the gossip again and again. So, that's, <laughs> so that is all for today. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you, sir. Thank Namaste, you. everyone. Namaste.